Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Barcelona against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, the first game of the group is so vital, you just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Mark and Peter Stegen starts in goal. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. Gundogan! And the keeper more than equal to it. Corner kick played in. No nonsense piece of defending. Lewandowski. Gundogan. Could be troublesome. Well, this could rip. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, just take another look at this, because the one-two to get behind the defence is superbly worked, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And back underway, 1-0 it is. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Joao Felix. An encouraging move from Barca but quick thinking defensively. They're really pressing their opponents. Barcelona have given us away. Ferreira. Fabian, real chance. Oh, a challenge that simply had to be won. And the counter looks on here, options available. Joao Cancelo. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Well, Barcelona restart the game. Will that goal have the effect of stinging them into action? Well, the referee has blown the whistle, and that... So away they go again, and what to do for Barcelona in this second half. Really good challenge. PSG looking dangerous. 
Passing opportunity. And defensive play to be applauded. Well, the verdict's on Kylian Mbappe. In a word, positive. Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace. And he fully deserved his two goals. And I expect more from him in the second half. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. The clearance wasn't decisive. That's effective pressure, high up the pitch. And a chance to whip it in here. And we have 30 minutes to go. Intercepted effortlessly. Rafinha, and a decent delivery, well still an issue here, and unfortunately for him he had worked his way into an offside position, and I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside strong but fair tackle, a oh, great play Cancelo now with Lewandowski brilliantly blocked Highly honed defensive skills and evidence from Gundogan. Torres. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Fifteen minutes left for play. And he might profit here. And in the back of the net for PSG. That lead extended to two now. Well, let's look at this again. The cross just couldn't be any better, could it? Whipped into that danger area and then threw on goal. He just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Ronald Araujo. Oh, in with a chance! Goalkeeping of the highest order! Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. As a go! Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. And ball back with PSG now. And the referee has given the advantage to Barca. Rafinha. And cuts inside, and a very good challenge. Not a poor touch, and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come. Here it is now, a substitution. Nuno Minj. And that is all for this game. It's an ideal start for Paris Saint-Germain. They have.